rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us, and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us beginning from the baptism of John until the day in which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take the place of this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with the princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. 
It was not you who chose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Rejoice, for this is good news, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a certain challenge and freedom in the gospel that the church provides for us this morning on the Feast of St. Matthias. The, the challenge and the freedom comes from the part of the gospel where Jesus says, it's not you who chose me, but I who cho chose you. There's a certain humility in that because I think for most of us, uh, as we think about many options in our life, we're about choosing. I choose this over that. And we can apply that to our spiritual life too, that we can understandably make the mistake to think that it's us who chose God or it's us who's choosing God. The gospel makes it clearer that really it's God who first initiates the invitation, God who first chooses us, and that our acts of prayer, our acts of kindness, our acts of goodness, knowingly or unknowingly, are, are a response to God inviting, choosing, holding out his hand, opening a door, calling us, the phone is ringing, God initiates this, and God does not initiate it randomly. In other words, God isn't about robocalls, you know, that go out to everybody, nameless. That God's invitation and choosing us as everything we know in God's actions, everything is personal with God, so that his choosing of us first in creation, in baptism, every moment of our life, that that choosing is personal with a face, with a name, and God has an intention in choosing us. Whatever the particular intentions are in God choosing us, we can be sure that God chooses us for life. And once God has made that decision, nothing will take it away except our rejection of it. But back to this piece about God choosing us. The person that God chooses is the person we are at this moment. Now, spiritually, that's very important because sometimes in life, uh, we can want to be somebody we're not right at this moment. And it's not bad to have goals in life. You know, I'd like to improve my mind this way. I might like to get a little bit more exercise. I'm, having goals in life is important. But God doesn't look at us that way. God doesn't say, when you get your spiritual life a little bit more in order, then I'm going to choose you. When you can be over and done with that temptation or that sin that, that seemingly plagues your life, then I'm going to choose you. When you love me as I deserve to be loved as your God, then I'm going to choose you. See, all of that might make human sense but it's not loving sense. God chooses us today as we are. He chooses us today completely. In all of those things that we are proud of and all of those things we know that we need to change and work on, he chooses you, your whole you today. Why? so that you can rest in his love and let him heal you. Heal you of whatever it is 
that tries to tear you up, that makes temptation more powerful, to heal you of whatever it might be that makes sin from time to time an acceptable option. If we can rest in God's love, his complete love, temptation loses its power over us. Sin doesn't become as attractive because we have what our heart desires, an all-encompassing and complete love. Believe today that God chooses you who you are at this moment. Have all the goals in life that might be upon your heart that God has placed there. Have all the goals in life. None of them are necessary for God to love you and choose you. He tells us that in the gospel today. Let's stand now together and offer to the Lord some of the needs that gather us this morning. God of, co God of cosmic power, in Jesus, you lead us from death to life. We rejoice in your love and pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Animate your church to give witness to Jesus' call for mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and console mothers who grieve, suffer, and struggle in their holy calling. We pray to the Lord. Help us to show our appreciation and love for mothers and all who show a mother's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember in a special way at this Mass, Francis Reichardt. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we ask you to listen to the prayer's voice, but as always, to the quiet ones of our hearts. And if they be for your greater honor, our greater good, we ask you to grant them all through Christ our Lord.
so that it may be governed by those you have appointed, shepherd, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we acclaim your glory. Holy, 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 similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of
communion antiphon. It is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us go now to live it.